One of the questions that we get a lot is what exactly is happening? It's not when we either have a customer or uh, a dealer who's talking to a customer and that customer says, yes, I understand you're energizing the air, but what then? Uh, what uh, reactions are happening? And I want to know down to the detail of what's happening. Well, aside from the things that are happening in your body, which are one whole, uh, whole set of things that are going on, there is, of course, how is it cleaning the air? And I think that's right. what most people right, are really right. wanting to know. You see, there aren't any new chemicals that we're putting into the air when we energize it. All we're doing is we're taking the basic elements that are in the air, uh, the nitrogen, the hydrogen, the water vapor, the uh, carbon dioxide, uh, just everything that's in the air, and we're taking a tiny portion of it, and we're putting some energy into it so that we're making it unstable. Mm -hmm. So if you can kind of remember your high school chemistry, mm -hmm. so that if you have a molecule and you kind of split it apart, it takes energy to split it apart, mm -hmm. now both halves are energized. And as soon as they can find each other, they're going to give up that energy. Well, if you can take all these elements in the air and energize them just a little bit, what you're going to do is cause them to react with everything in the air faster. So by energizing the air, all we're doing is getting it to react with the things that it would normally react with, but operating faster so that it now makes a difference fast enough to say that we're cleaning the air. Right, right. So the nice thing about it is that we're not making any reaction that wouldn't ordinarily occur anyway. Uh, the oxygen is still going to react with things and, and oxidize it, and some of the hydrogen is going to reduce it. But now because it's energized, it's all happening at a faster rate so that it, it's effective as a way to clean the air. Great. And, and so uh, is, there, is there a really good answer for, um, I mean, that, that, sometimes you just can't explain it well enough. And to those people, what would you say, it, it, you know, if, if the technical answer isn't technical enough? Well, usually I relate it back to the sun. Uh, and mm -hmm. because that's the easier, easiest thing for people to understand is how nature cleans the air. You see, nature's doing exactly the same thing. Nature puts energy into the air mm -hmm. just like we do, and exactly those same kinds of things are happening. So rather than trying to tell people which chemical is being active and right, which is right. not, I'm saying just, uh, just as the sun energizes the air and makes it react fast enough to clean itself, mm -hmm. so we use electricity essentially to put that same kind of energy into the air just to increase its reaction time and make it operate faster. And the simple, the simple, most ex easiest explanation is goes back to our name. We restore the energy back into indoor air so that it makes it act like fresh outdoor air. Mm -hmm. And I know that sometimes that's not a very satisfying answer, right. but it's absolutely accurate. We're just putting that energy back in that the building has taken out.